Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here, back in the aquarium lab with a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna take you to my local fish store where we're gonna go and pick out about 20 new Cardinal Tetras to put here in the 72. I'm then gonna talk about how I like to add and acclimate fish to my aquarium so you guys can maybe get a better idea about how to do so if you're new to the hobby. Before we get going, I wanna say thank you so much for all your suggestions for what fish to put over in the 90 gallon aquarium. There was like over 200 comments on that video within the first 24 hours, and that's crazy for my channel. So thank you so much, and I'm getting really close to making the final decisions on what fish to put over there. I also wanna know what your favorite Tetra is and why. Drop it down in the comments below so myself and others can see what you're into. You guys are definitely gonna wanna head over to Instagram because I'm gonna post a bunch of pictures and videos that I took from the fish store today as well. I'm on a tight schedule today, so let's get over to the fish store, see what's available, and hopefully pick out some really cool new fish. Dale! Hey, hey, what's going on, dude? Smile. I know. You got some stuff for me today, man? All the stuff you're looking for in the world. Oh, because I'm I'm spending big today, buddy. New flat trip. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're back from my local fish store. We got the fish, now it's time to start acclimating them. The first thing that I like to do is grab a bucket and a fish net, and I just position it right on the top there. Now we're gonna take our new fish and float them in the aquarium to acclimate them to temperature. Having a clamp is really handy, guys, because it's gonna help to ensure that this bag stays in place. We don't want any of this fish store water to get into our tank. That's a big no-no. Parasites, bacteria, a bunch of different stuff that we don't want in our tank could be in this bag. Things that you might not expect to be bad, like duckweed, and you can see here there's a little clump of algae. We just, we don't wanna get any of this in our tank. So make sure to keep this bag up above the water so that nothing can get in or out. Because these fish have only been in the bag for about 20 minutes or so, I can open up the bag to put it into the aquarium. If these fish had been shipping and been in the bag for say a few days, you wouldn't wanna open that bag right away. This is really important because fish that have been in transit for a while or they've been in the bag for a considerable amount of time, we're talking days here, oxygen levels will be depleted, ammonia levels will be higher than normal, and when you open that bag, you're gonna get a shift and that ammonia concentration, whatever it is, is gonna be a lot more toxic once you open the bag. But again, because the fish have only been in this bag for about 20 minutes, a half an hour, we don't have to worry about that, so I go ahead and just open it up. We're now gonna let the fish acclimate to the temperature of the new aquarium. That should take probably anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature difference, which in this case isn't that much. 
We don't need to worry about acclimating them to pH or other water parameters because honestly, that takes a lot more time than what we can do here. I've never been a person to do drip acclimation or anything like that, especially in this case, I don't really think it's necessary. So while the fish are getting used to their new temperature, I also like to go ahead and turn the lights off on my aquarium. You don't have to do this, it's something that I've just always done in the past and it helps keep the stress level a little bit lower for these new fish. My man Dale at the fish store hooked it up with a couple of O-nips and a little goodie bag here. You might remember this from the clip that you just saw in the fish store where the tetras were going wild on this food adhered to the glass. If you guys want to check this out, I got a link down to it in the description so you can learn some more about it. I haven't tried this stuff out at home yet, but I'm about to tomorrow once the cardinals are doing well in their new home. After about a half an hour, the bag containing the fish should be at about the same temperature as the tank. Now it's time to go ahead and add our fish. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light back on. If I wasn't filming this for you guys, I would leave the light on the aquarium off for another hour or two just to help with the fish's overall stress level. So now we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna slowly pour them into the net, which is over the bucket. Again, this is gonna help prevent any of the aquarium store water from getting into the tank. Now, this doesn't prevent 100% of it. Obviously, the fish are gonna be wet and they're going in the tank, but this is just a good way to minimize it and be as safe as possible. Make sure to check the bag for any stragglers. Especially with small fish, they can get easily caught up in here and you don't wanna accidentally throw a fish away. So now we're just gonna take the fish in the net and go ahead and pour them into the tank. You can see here that I was able to prevent some of the duckweed from going in the tank. So a lot of the new fish, as soon as I put them in, went right for a hiding spot, which was this cave that we just put in here on the right, which I'm pretty stoked about. I hope they like that spot. But you can see some of the new fish, the little ones in the back, finding their way in their new home. Now what they're gonna do over the next couple of hours is be really skittish, they're gonna hide out. They're not gonna wanna be part of the group. They might group up together in the back of the tank and you might not see them. That's totally normal when adding new fish. Don't freak out, they're just adjusting to their new home. So I know what some of you guys are thinking. Mike, why didn't you quarantine these fish? You're adding the fish to a tank that's already stocked. You would totally be right to wonder that. And look, I have to say that yes, you should always quarantine new fish that you bring home no matter what. Nine times out of 10, I should really say 10 times out of 10, yes, you should quarantine your fish. I can't leave this part out of the video. I think that it would be irresponsible of me not to. So if you're watching this because you're new to fish keeping and you're bringing home new fish that you wanna to add to a tank that already has fish in it, you should keep them in a cycle tank that doesn't house any others and you should do this for a couple weeks. I'm not choosing to do that this time around for a couple reasons. One, I don't have a quarantine tank set up and running right now. I know it's crazy, but these things happen. But more importantly though, and my main reasoning behind taking this risk is because all of the fish in this tank have already encountered an ick infestation and survived. There are studies that show fish that previously won the battle against ick have a partial immunity and are thus more resistant to contracting the disease in the future. This isn't 100% foolproof by any means. It's just one reason why I'm choosing to go for it today. This is a good reminder for me though to do a video solely dedicated to proper quarantining. So now the cardinal tetra population in this tank is about 50 because I had 35 of them in here before. Um, I'm not 100% on that number, they're, they're hard to count sometimes. But again, we just added 20 new cardinals and I'm really excited to see what their behavior is gonna be like once they're in this tank for a couple days. So yeah guys, that's my process for acclimating fish that I get from the local fish store, which is pretty straightforward and easy to do. When you buy fish online, the process is a little bit different and I'll try and cover that very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know what your favorite species of Tetra is and why down in the comments. Thanks again for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you know the exact moment when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.